Uh, welcome back to the practical training program with the Radio and Electronics School. This is tutorial 11, uh, which is based on competency number 11 in the practical assessment check sheet. And in this uh, competency, we're going to be discussing calling procedures and giving a signal report. As usual, let's have a look at the competency first before we talk about it. And I've also put competency 10 back up because competency, competency number 11 requires you to demonstrate making an on-air, uh, to demonstrate making on-air calling procedures for HF, VHF and or UHF. And the way the assessor may assess you on this, the candidate is provided with a ready-to-use amateur radio station. So you don't have to tune it up, you don't have to change the frequency, you don't have to do anything at all except use it. And you need to do, before you do use it, you need to do competency number 10, and that is turn your AF and RF gain up fully, listen for a while, uh, if you're not sure that the frequency is clear, you then put out a call. This is VK4FABC. Is this frequency in use? And listen. And if there's no answer, you can do that a couple of times if you want to. And if there's no answer, then you're, you're free to go ahead and do competency number 11. You must check if the frequency is in use, that is competency 10, every time you use a radio transmitter. Let's look a little bit more closely at number 11. Uh, the tasks that you need to perform demonstrated the correct procedure for calling a specific station. So you'll be given a station to call. It could be someone in another room or it could be a radio amateur uh, nearby to where the assessment is taking place. The candidate completes three on-air contacts maybe this, with the same participating person or simulated on-air contacts using correct protocols. So <clears throat> what you're going to have to do for this competency is number 10, you're then going to have to call the station, establish a contact with them and exchange signal reports. Now I'm going to do that for you with another station <clears throat> but I'm going to run through the procedure right now. Firstly, you'll need a call sign, so I've given you the call sign VK4FABC. And your station you'll be calling is VK2DQ. And though I haven't put it in, I will put it in, in brackets. Ensure you check that the frequency is clear before doing what we're about to do below and that is competency 10. So I've already written it in, how silly of me. <laughs> um, so before you do anything you do competency 10 and check that the frequency is in use, not in use. The frequency is not in use, you can then call the station that you're going to call. You're going to call VK2DQ. You always say the, the call sign of the station that you are calling first and your own call sign last. So the correct call after you've checked that the frequency is not in use. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, over. Now, you might have to do that again if he doesn't hear you, but presuming he hears you, and we'll, we'll presume that signal conditions are good, and signal conditions should be good for your assessment, you wait for VK2DQ to reply, or you call again. Here, VK2DQ is replying to you. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ, over. So I've heard you, and I've answered you, and I've told you I'm there by using my call sign. Now you're replying to VK2DQ. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Hi, Ron. You are strength seven and your readability is good. So what you've done there is you've answered me correctly and you've given me a signal report. Your readability is good. 
There are other methods of signal reporting which are a little bit more complicated called RST, Readability Strength Tone, and you'll find more detail about them in your foundation manual that you should have from the Wireless Institute of Australia. But in your practical assessment there is no need to give complex signal reports. The only thing you need to do to give a signal report is the reading on the S meter on the radio which goes from 1 to 9 and and then an English comment on what they sound like. So here you said to me VK2DQ this is VK4FABC Hi Ron you are strength 7 that's my signal strength and your readability is good that means you can understand me well that is an adequate signal report for the practical amateur radio assessment I reply to you VK4FABC this is VK2DQ Hi Lorraine thank you for the report you are strength 8 and you are clear with just a bit of noise and I've given you a simple signal report as well. You don't have to go into complex signal reports, just a strength reading off the S meter and a plain English statement on what they sound like. Now you're answering me, VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Thanks Ron for the report. VK4FABC out. So you've thanked me for the report and you've signed clear. You could have said clear or closing but you said 4FABC out and I know you're finished you just wanted a signal report so I say VK2DQ out and that tells all other amateur stations using that frequency that we are now have left the frequency and the frequency is clear to use. Have a read of that I'll leave it there for a bit and I'm going to run through with another operator actually using a couple of transceivers how to do how to make a call and exchange a signal report this is VK4 FABC is this frequency in use This is VK4 FABC. Is this frequency in use? VK2DQ. This is VK4 FABC. Over. VK4 FABC. This is VK2DQ. Over. VK2DQ. This is VK4 FABC. Hi Ron, you are strength 7 and your readability is good. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. Hi Lorraine, thank you for the report. You are strength 8 and you are clear with just a little bit of noise. Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Thanks Ron for the report. Catch you later. VK4FABC out. Okay, see you later uh, Lorraine, VK2DQ out. Well there you had a demonstration of two amateur stations contacting each other. Lorraine it was VK4FABC. Did you notice how Lorraine put out a call? Uh, she no doubt listened and turned to her open to mute because she was using a VHF radio. She no doubt opened her mute and turned the volume control up to make sure the frequency wasn't in use. But to be sure, she put out a call and asked if it was in use or not. It wasn't. So she then proceeded to give me a call and ask me for a signal report and give me a signal report as outlined in the text on this slide. If you can learn that, you'll do fine with competency number 11. Cheers for now. This is Ron VK to DQ.